After so many of you have asked, I'm finally publishing this simple do this and that will happen sort of WordPress tutorial where we're going to install WordPress properly onto your new domain name and web hosting and then change the entire theme of the site, add an advertisement to make some money, and upload a photo from your mobile device to the website. The difference between WordPress.org, which we're using today, and WordPress.com, which this is not, is that WordPress.com is a blog hosting software. You log into their website, use their features, and pay them for things that you would otherwise get for free on WordPress.org. That said, it is an amazing tool you should try out at some point. This is WordPress.org, and among the many differences we could talk about, you own WordPress, and that means you can do and say anything. We just need a place to put it so that the world can see it. And that's where our web hosting comes in. So if you're ready, I'm ready too, and let's begin. By the way, if you ever need help with any of this or just have questions, I'm always available in the YouTube comments. And I've also created a new website called Unity, found at the WordPressExperience.com, where you can ask questions in our WordPress forum, and people will respond with free and fast answers, because that's how it should be. I hope I can help you. All right, so we need a web host, and there's a lot of good hosts that could get the job done for us today, but we might as well use the largest and most trusted host, which is HostGator.com, the same host that I use for everything. A web host like HostGator provides us with some space on a computer that's both turned on and online 24-7, 365, so the entire world can view your website even while you're sleeping. We can't host our websites from our own computers at home, because every time we powered off or closed the laptop, the website would go down. There's a lot more reasons why we need a web host like HostGator, but that's a basic explanation. Once you're on this page at HostGator, simply click on Web Hosting. Now scroll down to where it says Hatchling Plan and Baby Plan. You would choose the Hatchling Plan if you only want to set up one WordPress blog today, and you choose the Baby Plan if you want to set up multiple blogs like a blog for your family and friends, as well as your own blog. But you can always upgrade from one to the other or downgrade at any time, so we'll just choose Hatchling for now. And by the way, setting up a WordPress blog or a WordPress website is the exact same thing when you begin. Great job so far, and don't worry, you're in the right place. In the HostGator order form, step one, choose a domain. You can register a new domain name if you've never purchased one, or click I already own this domain name to use a domain name that you already purchased, like a random blog about investing strategies and finance called lostinvestor.com. Perfect. If you'd like to register a new domain name with HostGator, it works great. It's a good idea to keep everything in the same location and down at the bottom, there'll just be one more charge for a domain name that you'll see. Let's scroll down and not choose any of these other extensions. We just want the .com. In step two, choose a hosting plan. We've already done that with Hatchling, but we need to adjust our billing cycle to something like 12 months, which I recommend. That way you can sit back and make your WordPress website without worrying about hosting at all. Now choose a simple username you like using and a security pin. In step three, enter your billing info just like you would at any online retailer like Amazon, eBay, Seamless, Apple.com, and so on. And make sure to choose PayPal or credit card, whatever works for you. I'll do that later. In step four, uncheck the additional services. We don't need those now. I can show you how to do it for free, or you can add those on at a later time. Now, in step five, Enter a coupon code to save some money on your hosting purchase today. And the coupon I like using is take 30 off. Using this coupon will save you the largest possible amount on your HostGator order and give you some extra cash to use on whatever else your business needs. It will also give me a small affiliate commission, but that comes at no cost to you. And it just comes from HostGator because I'm recommending their services to you, which is awesome. It's a win-win-win. And of course, thanks very much for using my tutorial. We need to click the Validate button to see our discount go up now. 
Just click validate. There we go. And let's uncheck that last hosting add-on. Perfect. Your amount due should be under $60, which comes out to under $5 a month for some amazing web hosting and for the ability to use WordPress.org. This is the bare minimum I consider necessary to find success online with any sort of business today. So congratulations for taking this important step forward and for committing to it. Lastly, just check this button. And after we click check out now, this tutorial will move to your inbox where HostGator will send us your important account info needed to proceed and to install your copy of WordPress. Ready? Let's click check out now. In your inbox, you'll find an email from sales called HostGator.com, your account info. Open it up. Now it's time to copy the password they include right here. Copy that. And remember the username. And using the Your Control Panel link, we're going to log in and install WordPress. By the way, if you're using a domain name that you registered somewhere else, like at GoDaddy, you'll now need to go to that specific registrar, like GoDaddy, and enter in your first name server and second name server in order to connect your domain name with your hosting. Do that right now and then come back and proceed. And if you got your domain name from HostGator, you don't need to do that step. Now click on the Your Control Panel link. Enter in your username and password and log into cPanel. cPanel is the tool I use almost every week, but you don't have to come back here ever if you don't want after you install WordPress. Scroll down with me to where it says Software and Services and click on the Quick Install icon. You're now in Quick Install, the tool that nearly every developer on the planet uses to install WordPress websites and build all sorts of WordPress blogs and WordPress websites. Click on the dark blue box that says Install WordPress. And now click on this button that says Install WordPress and you'll see that little free tag right there too. We don't want to pay anyone to install WordPress, we want to do it ourselves. And once you click that, it's time to choose your domain name where we're going to install the copy of WordPress. You can see I have many of them, but you'll likely only have one WordPress site. I've just built several different varieties of WordPress sites for different clients. And there it is. Leave this box totally blank and come down to where it says admin email. Fill in your best email, ideally the one that you gave HostGator, a blog title, an admin user that you'll use to log into WordPress, so make that one good, and your first name and last name. And once your screen looks just like mine does, except for with your domain name in here instead, and this information matching your website, of course, click on Install WordPress. Let's do it. Quick install works very quickly, and hopefully quickly for you. Close out of this screen, and our install is complete, so we can click on this bar to view credentials. And we can double click and then copy our new password. And now it's time to visit our admin link and attempt to log into WordPress for our first time. Hopefully it's successful. All right, let's enter in our username and paste the password and click login. And if it doesn't work, it's just because WordPress is settling all your files nicely into place, but it did work. Congratulations, you now have a WordPress blog and you probably saved yourself about $500 that a developer would charge you. In the YouTube comments or over at the wordpressexperience.com, I'm happy to explain any specific feature, button, or tool in WordPress that you're seeing right here or that you can think of on your own. But at the time being, it's time to change our theme. So follow me to Appearance and click Themes. Or you could just click the Appearance button. Before we change our theme now, let's just click on the Home icon that says My Blog or whatever you titled your blog. And we'll see what WordPress looks like to the public right now. What we have here is the beautiful 2016 theme active, but it's not so beautiful because we haven't put any content in it yet. And in any case, it's definitely a blog format. 
If you want to change your website instantly to a website format, let's go back to Appearance Themes and let's install a website-centric theme. And my favorite is called Vantage. To install the new theme, click Add New. And you'll start seeing the hundreds, if not thousands, of WordPress themes that are available to you. To install a specific theme by name, in the Search Themes box, type in the name of your theme, in our case, Vantage, and WordPress will find it right away. To install the theme now, click the blue Install button. Make sure to click Activate. And now click on the Home icon and view how your site has changed instantly. Set up with a lot of new features that you can instantly customize just by editing this page. And we can see we now have a website look with an image slider, some icons, and a full screen page instead of before where we had the blog layout with the blog posts on the left and the sidebar on the right. For now, I want our blog layout because at the end, I'm going to direct you to a WordPress tutorial that will help you use the 2016 blog theme. It's amazing. So once again, back to Appearance, Themes. And to change the theme back to what we had before, we can simply find 2016 and click Activate and WordPress will automatically revert the design back to how it was before, remembering everything. Now let's upload an image to our new blog. And I want to put that in a page, so I'm going to hover on the new dropdown and click Page. Your site should ideally have at least a few pages like About Us, Contact Us, or Start Here. To upload the image, click the Add Media button and then make sure you're in the Upload Files tab and click Select Files to pull in an image that I currently have on my desktop. I'm not going to go through how to take photos on your phone or get them from your phone to your desktop because I don't want to offend anyone who doesn't use an iPhone. And if you can't get photos from your phone to your desktop, then you probably shouldn't be building a website anyways. Click Select Files and now let's double click on a photo like Cold Ocean. Beautiful. We can scroll down and adjust the attachment display settings, like make our image bigger or smaller, and link it to something if we want, or center it, left it, right it, and so on. But this is good, and we'll click Insert into Page. And there's our image. Beautiful. You're about ready to publish your first image to the web. If you're all set, click Publish with me. And now when we view page, we can see what we've made, and the images will resize automatically right into the page for you. I'm going to throw in one more tip now, which is how to remove index.php from your blog links. Click my blog, or whatever your title is, to go to the dashboard, and now click Settings, Permalinks. And simply choose Post Name, scroll down, and Save Changes. Good job. Lastly, I told you we'd insert an advertisement onto your blog to start earning some revenue, which can maybe pay back the cost of a domain name and hosting. Wouldn't that sound great? To insert an advertisement, we need to go to Appearance Widgets, which is where our sidebar is managed. You can see that WordPress is laid out in what seems to be a little bit confusing of a way at first, but we can also get the hang of it if we practice. We need to get an advertisement, and what better place to get one than Google AdSense. So let's click over to Google AdSense through Google. Click on the link. Sign up for free if you haven't already. It's an amazing publishing tool, and they pay you every month as long as you earn at least the threshold amount, which I believe is still $100. All right, some information from AdSense, which we don't need. And now our AdSense dashboard. And once you get to a screen like this, it might look a little bit different than mine, but what we want to click on is My Ads. In this screen, you want to click New Ad Unit. This is the most basic and optimal way to create advertisements for your website, although there are other networks that are good too if you need a recommendation or if you can't get into AdSense. 
Once you've made an ad, simply click Get Code, and it will automatically generate the right code to put in your website. We just need to click once in this window to highlight, and then right click to copy. And now back in Widgets, scroll down to where it says Text. Click Text, make sure sidebar is checked, and click Add Widget. And now in Content, paste in that code. You can title it if you want, but now just save it. And now, if everything worked properly, when we go back to our site by clicking on the home link, we won't see an advertisement, and that's simply because I have an app blocker working. So let's turn that off for pages on this domain. And we can see our first Google advertisement is up and running and advertising some amazing content like Udemy or Udemy, not sure. Your site is now ready to come to life and to be filled with all of your own creativity and ideas. Thanks so much for watching. You now know how to install a WordPress.org blog or website onto your own domain name and hosting. Next, please open the video description and click the link to my WordPress 2016 theme demo to learn how to create an entire website out of the default theme that your WordPress site might have come with. If you learned something here, please like the video, do subscribe, I've got lots more WordPress content for you and lots of content published already that people are using. And if you think one of your friends might like to make a blog or make a website, please share this link with them. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you with your questions in the comments. Bye bye for now.